It's Monday, November 19th. Welcome to Pastor Bob Daily. So, I need to vent a little today. Is that okay? <laughs> I don't do that very often, but, you know, there are days when things get to me a little bit, and this is one of those days for me. I'm really tired of armchair Christians. Let me explain. You know, the ministry that I've been involved with for so many years is very controversial. People love to take pot shots at me. I'm used to that. They don't feel good. Uh, some of them hurt. Uh, many, many are unjustified. And yet people still do it. And, you know, I'll have people that, and this just happened, people that follow me from one media to the other, from YouTube to Facebook to Twitter, you know, whatever. And, uh, and then try to get me to repent that I'm a false prophet, that, you know, all this stuff. And uh, basically because they really haven't taken the time to research me very much or to find out what I really believe or where I stand or, you know, listen to a couple of videos and there wasn't enough scripture in it. That was one of the problems. You know, there are all kinds of people that have all kinds of opinion. It's kind of sad. You know, I'm at the point in my life where I realize that some people can be reasoned with, some can't, and and uh, I get really tired of the bullies, and they are bullies. And so I simply delete them and block them. And uh, you say, well, Pastor Bob, maybe there was a chance. You know, there could have been. But, um, you know, that kind of negativity really um, paralyzes me sometimes. You understand what I mean? And so if I feel like I can have a healthy discussion with someone, I will always do that. But armchair Christians, the Christians that sit in their social media and have a lot of opinions and are very condemning and continue to sit. You know, I've learned something about most Christians. When we're involved, when we're active, when we're giving of ourselves, we don't have time for that kind of stuff. Seriously. And, <clears throat> you know, everyone is entitled to their opinions. And everyone has opinions. But folks, there is a big difference between your opinions while you're sitting in front of Facebook or YouTube or Twitter or whatever it might be, and your opinions when you're out there doing something about it. That's important. And you need to understand that disconnect because it's getting huge. You know, one of the ministries you know that I'm involved with is the homeless ministry. And here in Nashville, we've stepped it up again. You know, we're, we're probably at about 4,500 meals per month right now. Uh, a lot of time on the streets. And I don't mention that to say, look at me, I'm doing a good thing. I'm just saying the more I'm involved with that kind of thing, the less judgmental and the less time I have to go after things that are trivial. Seriously. And I also realize that it's difficult to get people involved. You know, everybody has opinions. I can't tell you how many people have promised me that they're going to come down and, and help out and never do. Or I'm going to send a donation and it never comes. We're doing okay, though. You know, God always takes care of us and he always blesses us. And, and uh, some days we just squeak by, but we still squeak. And the lines are getting longer and there are more and more people on the streets. And, you know, God continues to step up. Uh, our food donations as well. So we're okay. But the thing that I that I question, though, are all of those Christians that have these strong opinions and do nothing about it. And folks, I understand that that sometimes there are time constraints and, and uh, sometimes it, it isn't real convenient. But to continue to be an armchair Christian, to not go out and do something about your faith, to not be active with it, to simply hide behind the screen on your computer or maybe simply be in your church and not be outside of it at all is really a disconnect. You know, God asks us to be active, to go out. He said, go in the highways and byways and compel them to come. That's a little bit out of context, but that, that, uh, that thought and that ideal is there in the New Testament all over the place. And, you know, it's important that we are active in our faith because that's what makes it active with us too. 
I love the life that God's given me. I wouldn't trade it for anything. I love talking to you every day. And uh, I love all the different facets of ministry that I'm in, from the homeless ministry to the heavy metal ministry. And uh, it's quite a variety. But honestly, I love the fact that God has kept me active. And my biggest prayer for you is that as well that you will be active in your faith. And I want to challenge you today. Don't just be an armchair Christian. Get out and do something. Be active in your faith. Be involved. Be Christ-like to a world who needs to have some compassion and love, and they need to know the good news of Jesus Christ. God bless you. Have a great day.